The machine gun fire I can hear out there. Can't see it in all the smog. Oh no. Getting irradiated right up the ass. Uh oh. Mutations. Somebody was moaning about me saying that I'm calling things mutations when they're super mutants. That's still a mutation though. Everything is a mutation. They're called super mutants, but they're still mutations nonetheless. Well, technically, I'm still right. Anything that gets mutated is a mutation. You could actually call this game and you'd still be right. Mutation Nation. Because that's what it is. A nation of mutations. Talking about. Ha! That day will never come! Fool super mutant! Going a discussion over who's the stupidest mutant? They're both winners. Ha! Hide from this! Bullshit! You didn't see me then. You pay for that! Excuse me. Taste shotgun scumbag. What's up with him, man? Commonwealth's not yours. No, I'm afraid not. Where do you go? Coming right up and close, and extremely personal! Whatever, man! <laughs> Why is he fucking suddenly dead hard to kill when the other one's died in two shots? Places over here. It's another red rocket shithole. People walking around. Who are you? Are you Atom Rowdy, Cat? You want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Atom Cats have the most far out mods this side of the apocalypse. Hey, what, what the, look what out, robot. What is this place? The Atom Cats garage, dummy. It's a look haven at me when cats. I talk to you. Too cool to live anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Too we cool got a thing for custom power armor jobs. Because what's cooler than power armor? <laughs> Nothing, that's what. Slutty outfits may be better. Maybe later.
I wrote this po poem. You're doing fine. Right, let's hear it. What's it called? It's called an ode to my hey. hammer. You've got this, Rowdy. Uh, oh, oh, Rowdy, come hammer. back. So heavy and nice. Oh, I... Can someone turn off the recorder? It's the worst poem ever. You more idiots over here. Hey, Nosebleed, just where do you think you are? This is hey, Adam Cat all. territory. Adam Hall? Adam Cat. You know, the Adam Cats. The coolest power armor gang in the Commonwealth. Oh, I yeah. know what this is. You want to join up with the Cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. Hey, fuck you, fuck wall. And you don't look like you've ever used one. Oh, <laughs> you got me, Jack. You got me. All right, all right. Hey, you're one step closer to Coolsville. Now, yeah. let's put your skills to the test. I don't want to join you. My girl Rowdy should have something cunts. for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. I'm sure I want to do that, really. You guys are annoying. Yes. Hey there. We got junk that'll make you want to jive. Want to take a look? Garrus again. What's new around here, Jack? Heard the Brotherhood of Steel flew in on that ugly hunk of junk blimp or whatever. I knew that. Those deadheads don't know the first thing about power armor. Not like the cats. Really? Seeing as that's their expertise? Maybe later. Rowdy has like a thousand projects going on. Excuse me. For you. Where's it at, kitty cat? Oh? Taking stock. Sarcasm. Litter box. Oh, I've never heard that one before. Well, if you need someone to show you around, I'm your girl. Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Can I? I'll tell you what's what with the Adam Cats. Rowdy handles yeah. the power armor mods. She's also the coolest chick I know. Usually hangs out in the garage. Blue Jay does sales. Anything to buy or sell that isn't... Um, let's... Duke and Johnny D keep... I'm almost done. Zeke's the boss. And well, I just... Mm -hmm. And then there's me. Got it all memorized? Mm -hmm. You're not real plated. You're not with it. Pop yourself some power. I think I want to join you people. You're annoying. I'd like the quest to kill you all. Though. That'd be good. So I can take your head off. Steal your power armor mods. Saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? I don't know. Something to do. You have something for me to do? There's always something to soup up, strip down, and make shiny around here. From the looks of it, I'd say wants old Rowdy to. Mm -hmm. The only cat in me is the one I cooked up for dinner last night. Don't sell yourself short, Buster. I've been putting this here thing. I no, I'm not no joining problem. you. The Warwick folks. Uh -huh. Oh, and uh, make sure she's the bird. This is what was left of that kid's place, so he doesn't want to come here then. This fucking's full of bad guys, so... This kid didn't want to come to Quincy Ruins, I did him a favour. At least he's got people looking after him now. Here's me thinking I've been bad there and I've been Who's good. There? Who's there? Got ya. Still! Sit still, you scum! for me now. The Peabody house. Peabody. Carol hey. Peabody. Huh? huh? Frank yeah. Peabody. Hey there. That's it then, yeah. just yeah. We can't even communicate. 
Why you name people I can't communicate with? Sorry, what are you going to do about it? Well, he took it right back again. Whatever. Police station up here again. A lot of long term subs are asking me am I going to do this Bloodborne and and some of them are getting bored of Fallout but as you've seen long term subs the channel is kind of doing well again thanks to Fallout and uh, Geo is kind of the mastermind really behind all this most of the Fallout content he's doing it really and I voice it apart from the Let's Play of course which is me playing it and the battle things I did that on my own so he doesn't want to do anything but Fallout as long as it's doing good because he doesn't dare risk it because there's a danger if we start doing, say, Bloodborne, all the Fallout fans will, who don't really know who the hell I am, they want to get subbed, might be like, what, what's this? I don't like Bloodborne, unsubbed, so all that good work will be for nothing, so we we'll have to wait a bit longer before we bring back the old content, plus I don't have time to, I'm, I've got to try and, most of the footage I use of this I don't actually show because it's quite boring. Unless I think of something to say, like I'm doing right now. I'm walking around doing nothing here, and that's Fallout. <laughs> a lot of it's just aimlessly wandering around. So I never put that on YouTube, so I have to play it for hours just to get one video up. That's a gun in private, what's this? They've got ghouls working for him, I get it. That's what that guy was doing, he took ghouls and made them slaves. in the heart and again doing very little damage what is that? panic fire right in the balls you're just shooting blindly at shadows you fucking wimp I think two times damage would be more than that. Wouldn't ya? Is that the guy shooting panic fire too? Just shooting into the shadows? Guns, run. <laughs> this? Beating them. Beating them into submission. You must think it's them shooting at him, but no, it's me, Gunner. Who are you? Dun 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 diddly dun 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 again. Tessa is some annoying bitch in power armor. Or a guy with a girl's name, one or the other. Lure them into the super mutants. Or I just lost the super mutants, I don't know. They're shooting at me for God's sake. You are! Fight with the other guys, you fucking morons. Fuck off. Who's that over there? You can't move for enemy filth. He's here to enforce the public ju trust. Sentry bot. Switched on or what? This shouldn't take here? long. Huh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right in the nut sack, sucker. Quincy quarries. Covered that. How many quarries are in this game? Is that sentry bot activated? Because if it is, I'm dead meat. Kill me in like one shot. Got a power armor this time. I'm naked.
The key in the swamps of sadness is to stay happy. Think happy thoughts. Sorrows get to you. At the moment you get phoned. What the? I'm Isla Queen. First time I see one of these fucking scum. I thought they'd be like in a fucking cave and <laughs> wandering around like that. Show her who's queen, bitch. A miss! Sit still, bitch. Power! It's fucking quick for a big fat slob. Hey Hancock, no hard feelings about robbing your place. How you doing, killer? Arms tired from all that digging? You know, my strong room is surprisingly empty now. Yeah, what can you do? I'll threaten you. What? Not hiding behind your little pyro bodyguard? Oh wait, you can't. It's because like, I killed her. Head off. Oh, the newcomer kills one of my people. Now you think you got the biggest stomping boots? Okay, let me lay it out for you. Let's no hear one it. steals from me. But I gotta admit, you and Bobby pulled one hell of a job. Look Almost admire makes it. me wish I had done it myself. Now, if it was just the money, I'd rough you up, break a few bones, and then we'd be square once you paid me back. Never. But you killed Fahrenheit. That means blood for blood. Fortunately for you, I'm short on muscle. And Bobby was the brains. You track her down. Put a knife in her and get back my, let's say, thousand caps, and we'll pretend this was all a misunderstanding. Already killed her, pal. I already took care of Bobby. No shit. Well, aren't you productive? Now, let's talk about my caps. You are on the hook for a I'm brand. not paying you shit. I'm not paying nothing. I'm not paying. What? You thought I was serious? Far be it from me to keep hard-earned caps out of the people's hands. This thing with Bobby had to be done, but damn, look at me. Am I turned into the man? Putting down people's freedom to do what comes natural? I gotta take a walk, get back in touch with my fellow lowlifes. That's why I've decided I'm huh? coming with you. Hitting my strong room proves you've got that wants to come with take me. me attitude I need to reconnect with. Why leave good neighbor? Now, why would you want to leave good neighbor? For one, you pulled a job on me. That means I'm getting too comfortable. Need to get out there and hone the razor. For two, good neighbor is about doing your own thing. If I don't leave every once in a while, the power's gonna change me. I can't have that. What about that bitch? Why would you want to come with me when I helped kill your bodyguard? Hell, I kill all kinds of people and shake hands with their friends afterwards. You know how many boys used to have old Finn's back? Now don't get me wrong. 
Fahrenheit and me had history. And if this was a personal hit, killing you would be priority number one. But I know you were just trying to get a job done. I can respect that. Yeah. All right. Glad to have you with me. Before we head out, I gotta have a little chat with the community. I'll meet you afterwards. The time is pretty good because I just got rid of Paladin Dance. Well, he wandered off and quit himself, really. But I can't forgive him for leaving me in the lurch like that. And then losing the stuff I had left on him. I can't have that. That arrogance. Hey, Cleo. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Let's see what you got. Purchase a variety. Well, I'm here to go Everybody, to the memory of a lifetime place. I got something you all need to hear. Where is he? He's making his speech no now. No rush. Everyone just take oh. your time. There he is. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always going to be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now. What's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good hey, neighbor! Hail! Of the people! For the people! people. The people. Quitting and on the don't people. Let no one forget it. Hey, oh, come on! You can't can't no it. Better sell some to Daisy before off someone swipes it. What? You got a death wish or something? It's true, alright. It's coming with me, you weirdo zombie people. Done the right thing. Now for the memory of a lifetime. Let's try and recall the memories. For the memory of a complete lifetime. Well, well. The memory dead again. I thought you had forgotten about the May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Oh. Oh. Nick. Nick. Let's go talk to Amari. You lead the way, sucker. For that memory and for that complete lifetime, the memory we did again. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take hey. it this isn't a social call. Afraid not. Plug me into the sacred memories. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, oh. I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. Guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting it's aside the fact saying. that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Oh. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. You're useless. Some expert you are. I knew this was a waste of time. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Well, skip Skip it. to the good part, Doc. We plugged the brain implant into Mr. Valentine. Assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. 
Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. We'll laugh at you. Already, Mr. Valentine? Get into Just the memory, Dad. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's Help what him. I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. Oh. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Way to break it. More problems? Seriously? It's not like anyone has ever done this before. You try making a secret technology work across hardware generations out of spare parts. Just let me think. The encryption is probably meant to keep a single mind from accessing the data. So what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's eat sarcasm Nick again. and I are going to share a mind. A mind fuck? I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Let's do this. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Which one am I getting in, Nick? This one, the memory of a lifetime. Better not be like that crap place in the third one we went to, that black and white town. That sucked. <laughs> 